Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike, and thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. You know, I was thinking about it last night, and I am really excited. My wife made a comment to me. I haven't seen you with this much energy and excitement around work in a while. And I'm like, I know. I'm really excited. And I'm very concerned. With the recent NAR settlement agreement, I find myself getting really excited about the future of our business. And number one, it, it puts all this behind us. It's been out there in the court system for four to five years now, and it gets it resolved, and it puts us behind us, and we can move forward, and that's good. Uh, it'll create a, a significant shift in how we do business. It will. It's going to. This summer, it's going to create one of the biggest shifts I've seen in how we do business in my career. Uh, and I think that's going to be good. I'm really excited about that. I can see all kinds of possibilities. The new process will be better for consumers. I'm absolutely convinced of this it will be better for our customers, both our buyers and our sellers. They're going to like this better. It's going to be more transparent. It's going to be uh, a smoother process. It's just going to make more sense to our buyers and sellers once they get used to the shift. And the new process will be better for real estate agents. I'm absolutely convinced of it. I am really excited. See, I, I don't want it to be hard, folks. I don't. I want it to be harder. I want it to be so hard that only a few can do it. That's what I want. And I want to be one of them, and I want you to be one of them. I want that for you. I want you to want it to be hard. And then that's our value to our customers is this is a hard process it's not just about finding the house online that's really attractive to you that's not that hard that's just a matter of browsing what's hard is what comes after that i'm excited for this shift but i'm very concerned too and let me be dead serious with you for a minute i am very concerned I've been through this too many times. I've been through too many shifts. I already know what's going to happen to way too many agents. You won't change. You won't adapt. And you will die. I mean, your real estate business will die. It will. The disengaged agent. You know this agent? The agent that just has a real estate license so they can help their family and friends, but they're not really paying. They're not on this call this morning. They're not really paying attention. They just have a real estate license so they can make a little money each year e easily, right? Well, they hurt all of us. Oh, the disengaged agent, walking dead men right now. The arrogant. <laughs> The arrogant, they're probably not on this call either. The arrogant think they got it all figured out. They already know everything. They, if, they, if they engage with me, they don't listen to anything. I mean, they don't mind me talking, but they've already figured it all out. They're smarter than everybody else. Don't, don't we know how many millions of dollars in volume they did last year, which just makes them the smartest person in every room they go into. The arrogant are dead men. They do not survive shifts like this. The part-timers, the part-timers, they might be on this call, but that's about all they're going to do today because everything else in their life comes before their real estate business all the time. Their real estate business is at the bottom of the totem pole every day with every decision. Yep. The part-timers, they don't do well with shifts like this. They just want things to keep going the way they've always gone. And they're just like, uh, they and the disengaged agents are kind of like leeches. They're just 
holding on for life and trying to suck as much blood out of this as they can while they do. They don't do well with shifts like this, folks. I've seen it too many times. The remote agents. You know you. Well, it's raining outside this morning. I don't want to drive in the rain. I'm just going to work from home today. You are going to have a really hard time with this shift because you're not gonna have the information and the strategies needed. You're not gonna engage in the dialogues. You're not gonna be prepared to change and adjust and adopt new strategies because you just want things to be as convenient for you as you can every day. You are going to struggle. The shift's going to impact everybody significantly. Some, some will actually do better. I am driven. This is why I'm so excited right now because I can see a path where many of us who will engage, who will get up and get dressed and get your little fanny here and who will work with me and have the conversations and change your skill set, you're going to do a lot better. Your commission rate's going to go up. You're going to like, by the the second half of this year, you're going to be going, oh my gosh, we should have done this years ago. And everybody else is going to be miserable. Yeah, so I get really excited about that. And then I get really concerned because many more of you are going to do a lot worse. You're going to get spanked and spanked hard by this simply because you're not prepared to deal with it. And, and that breaks my heart, especially if you're part of my group. If you're not part of our group here, I guess good luck. I mean, you're not part of our work family, so I'm not getting up worried about you every day. I'm worried about the people who are part of our group. And sometimes, if I get guilty of something, sometimes I want to help you more than you want me to help you. And that causes problems for me. And it might make you a little irritated with me, like right now. I don't care. All it really means is I'm trying to help you more than you even want to be helped. Many of us are going to do a lot worse. Here's, here's the thing, though. You get to choose. This isn't going to happen to you. You're not going to be a victim of this shift. You chose how to deal with it. You can get in here today, roll your sleeves up, work with me. I'm going to show you how to do this. I've done nothing for the past month, practically, but immerse myself in this stuff. And I can see the path through this now. And I want to help you, but you got to get in here and you got to roll your sleeves up and we've got to build some new skills to thrive through the shift that's coming. I'm going because, because I want to help you so much through this. I really want us to be the shining beacon that everybody goes, damn, those people figured it out quicker than the rest of us. Uh huh. If you'll, if you'll get in here especially tomorrow at 1030 and be prepared we're probably going to go till noon tomorrow because this is a complex subject with a lot of different moving parts to it but it has the chance to be a lot better i'm really excited about that and i'm really concerned we're going to first understand what's going on not what other people are saying not those damn facebook agent groups what a bunch of crap that stuff is stop looking at those things stop looking at nobody in there knows what they're talking about they just have opinions you know these people they did really well through covid now they need a new drama that they can espouse opinions on without having any information they didn't go to the effort to educate themselves they just they're the arrogant. They just know. But, but you don't know because everything you just said is wrong. Get off those Facebook groups. Stop listening to the media. I'm going to show you exactly the truth in what happened. How we can have intelligent conversations with our customers who are only seeing the media and they're wondering how this impacts them and they start making up reasons. And I want you to have correct accurate, reasonable, conversational talking points that you can have with people so they can go, oh, okay, well then that's how I do this. Right. Come join me tomorrow at 1030. Please
plan to stay till noon tomorrow. It's going to go a little bit longer because it's very complex. But I'm going to try to show you the path through the woods on this. And for those that will engage and be open-minded, I think you're going to go, I think I'm excited about this. I think I can do better. And I would go, yeah, I think you can. And for those that it's just too much trouble, oh, well, good luck. I've seen many shifts throughout my 37 years. You're probably going to get your little fanny spanked, but I wish you wouldn't. Come join me tomorrow at 1030. Let's figure this out together. Let's understand what's really going on. And let's get out there and make it happen for ourselves.